Computed tomography, or CT scanners, are indispensable tools in modern healthcare. They provide detailed cross-sectional images of the inside of the body, enabling physicians to diagnose a wide range of conditions, from detecting tumors and internal bleeding to guiding surgical procedures. Connecticut scanners play a crucial role in patient care. Maintaining these sophisticated machines is paramount to ensure accurate diagnoses and timely treatment. This guide provides a comprehensive overview of CT scanner diagnostics and repairs, focusing on best practices for minimal downtime and optimal performance. Understanding the complexities of CT scanner maintenance is crucial for technicians and engineers. The following sections will delve into specific components, diagnostic procedures, safety protocols and repair techniques. By adhering to these guidelines, healthcare professionals can ensure the longevity and reliability of CT scanners ultimately contributing to improved patient outcomes. The importance of efficient CT scanner maintenance cannot be overstated. Timely diagnosis and repair of any malfunctioning component are crucial for maintaining the scanner's accuracy, reliability and safety. This, in turn, directly impacts the quality of patient care and the overall efficiency of the healthcare facility. Before diving into diagnostic and repair procedures, it's crucial to understand the key components of a CT scanner and their functions. Familiarity with these components is fundamental for effective troubleshooting and repair. The gantry is the donut-shaped structure that houses the X-ray tube, detector array and data acquisition system, or DAS. The gantry rotates around the patient, capturing X-ray data from various angles. The X-ray tube generates the X-ray beam that penetrates the patient's body. The tube's performance is crucial for image quality and diagnostic accuracy. Situated opposite the X-ray tube within the gantry, the detector array captures the X-rays that pass through the patient. This component converts X-ray photons into electrical signals, forming the basis of the CT image. The slip ring allows for continuous rotation of the gantry by transmitting power and data to the rotating components. The operating console is the interface for technicians to control the scanner, input patient data, initiate scans and view and manipulate images. Understanding the interplay between these components is essential for diagnosing issues. For instance, a malfunctioning X-ray tube can lead to poor image quality, while a faulty detector might result in image artifacts. The first step in diagnosing a CT scanner problem is a thorough visual inspection. This involves checking for obvious signs of damage, loose connections or wear and tear. Pay close attention to cables, connectors, cooling systems and moving parts within the gantry. Simultaneously access the system's error logs. These logs record any operational issues or malfunctions detected by the scanner's internal monitoring systems. Analyzing error codes and timestamps can provide valuable clues about the nature and location of the problem. Combining visual cues with error log data often helps narrow down the potential problem areas. This initial assessment guides further diagnostic steps, focusing on specific components or systems. Once the initial assessment is complete, a more systematic approach is required to pinpoint the fault. This involves testing individual components and subsystems to isolate the root cause of the problem. Begin by verifying the integrity of the power supply to the scanner. Use a multimeter to check voltage levels and ensure a stable power source. Next, assess the X-ray tube's functionality by inspecting its output and stability. Check for fluctuations in radiation output and unusual noises during operation. Examine the detector array for malfunctioning elements or calibration issues. This often involves running specialized diagnostic software or phantom scans to evaluate detector response. Inspect the gantry's movement for smoothness and accuracy. Listen for unusual noises or vibrations that could indicate mechanical problems with the motors or bearings. Lastly, ensure that the scanner's software and firmware are up to date. Outdated software can sometimes cause compatibility issues and performance problems. This systematic approach helps to eliminate possibilities and focus on the specific area requiring attention. It ensures that all potential culprits are investigated, leading to a more accurate diagnosis.